Lisanne Martin Sibero and I wrote Zoe the Fairy Discoveries, A Visit to Maracas Beach. I wrote this book and illustrated it based on my daughter, Celeste Zoe Sibero, who we named the fairy after her and drew it to look just like her. And now I'm going to read this book to you. Zoe the Fairy's Discoveries, A Visit to Maracas Beach. Somewhere near the river in Woodland, Trinidad, though no one knows exactly where, lives a tiny fairy called Zoe. Zoe is excited because today she is getting ready for a long trip to Maracas Beach. She loves long trips. With her swimsuit on, Zoe the fairy is ready to go. She flaps her wings as hard as she can and flies up, up, up into the sky. A little while later, Zoe looks through her telescope. Ooh, Maracas Beach is up ahead. Zoe gets ready to land and flies lower and lower until her foot gently touches the sand. She wiggles her toes in the sand. She loves the feel of grainy, powdery, sandy toes. Zoe takes a deep breath. She can smell the salty seawater, but she smells something else. She sniffs some more following the yummy smell. Ooh, it's a vendor selling bacon shark. She sneaks a tiny bite when he isn't looking. Mmm, it tastes so yummy. After a taste of yummy bacon shark, Zoe is quite thirsty. She hears someone yell, water, water, coconut water. So she decides to give it a try. She flies straight into a coconut and picks up some of the water inside. Zoe takes a big sip. Oh my goodness, it's delicious. Zoe is ready to go in the blue maracas water. She flies straight ahead, holds her breath and dives right in. She swims and swims and sees a little crab. Mr. Crab says hello, so Zoe waves hello back. Zoe enjoyed her day at the Maracas Beach. It was definitely so much fun to discover all the amazing things and she can't wait to visit again soon. I hope you guys enjoyed the story and look out for more adventures of Zoe coming soon. And you'll hear more great stories like this on this YouTube channel.